In 2015, a major earthquake struck near the sacred Kathmandu Valley of Nepal. About 9,000 people lost their lives. Almost 22,000 were injured. And all of the survivors had their homeland destroyed. In six different World Heritage Sites of the Kathmandu Valley, structures that carry the memory of a nation, that host ancient rituals which make up everyday living for its residents, were lost. ICOMOS ICORP presents ICORP on the Road. Episode 1 – Reconnecting the Sacred Valley, Kathmandu Actually preparing for the earthquake and we spent quite a few years even before since every 80 to 100 years we have these larger earthquakes taking place. It seems to be very difficult to prepare for an earthquake. I saw they came with the bulldozer and trucks and uh, I rushed down and asked them, request them not to use the bulldozer. And they agreed that and we have like uh, more than 300 police, army, armed police force, like hole in the square. So everything was like uh, sorted out and picked in like 10, 11 days. Uh, really, that 72 hours is very, very important, not only for the human beings, but also for the cultural heritage and other, uh, sometimes for the natural heritage as well, because in the natural heritage also, uh, there are many kinds of the animals uh, due to the disaster that would be most uh, uh, important for, the, for them as well. Do you think it will be rebuilt? Yeah, yeah, of course, but I don't know if it will ever be the same. We still have such artisans who are able to really understand these structures and uh, possibly one of the lessons is we have to get them to be the ones who ensure this continuity and they also have that knowledge. ICOMOS ICORP on the Road is bringing you the inspiring stories of post-disaster response and recovery of cultural heritage from local communities and professionals who have already experienced the worst and survived. So you too know what happens, how it happens and how you keep on going. <laughs> Sustained <laughs> You never ever want to think that the worst could happen to you. But what happens if it does? Do you just stop living, caring, believing, or simply let it vanish from collective memory? <laughs> 